while this fluid wonder metal is helping cars lose weight under their hoods, it's also helping them get their bodies into shape. It also allows you to make a lot of shapes that you couldn't make otherwise. One way GM shapes its aluminum parts is with water, in a process known as hydroforming. The reason we tube hydroform is we're able to form it in any particular shape that we need it without welding sections together. The hydroforming process allows us to make one part and is proven to be higher uh, durability than you get out of two pieces welded together. These water-shaped tubes will become part of the frame of a Corvette. Once a tube enters the dive, high-capacity pumps flood it with up to 100 gallons of water. The resulting pressure helps the aluminum form into the precise shapes of the dive. It's all over in less than two minutes. I'm sitting in the Corvette body structure that contains aluminum hydroformed rails. These aluminum rails replaced steel rails that served the same function but were heavier. This enables us to produce a Corvette that is lighter and has better zero to 60 time than you would get with the steel version. The pressure to shape aluminum car parts isn't restricted to water. You can also use air with a new technology known as QPF. It stands for quick plastic forming, which is not plastic, we're working with aluminum. But we take aluminum to an elevated temperature state in order to form parts uh, and shapes that we can't normally form. In this operation, we're making the Cadillac STS trunk lid. The inner panel is just now coming out of the press fully formed. What's coming in is the preheated aluminum sheet. As soon as that die gets closed, we use air pressure to force that aluminum up against that steel die cavity that gives us our shape. QPF technology fashioned aluminum body panels for GM's fuel cell powered concept car, the sequel. Whether powered by a hydrogen, battery, or hybrid engines, future vehicles must become lighter than ever to be competitive. When you put a lot of money into the powertrain, like you need to do in those vehicles, it doesn't make sense to pull around a steel cage. But aluminum is also a big hit in a different kind of cage, a batting cage. And one of the secrets to creating a bat that'll clean up against the competition is to give it one outrageously hot bath. In 1973, a car on the road in America contained an average of 81 pounds of aluminum. By 2006, the average was 319 pounds. Aluminum will return on Modern Marvel.